We're back, but we've never really been away. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Dom's European Adventures, West Ham Fan TV. The Europa Conference League adventures continue. We're off to Brussels, which is only over the water. Considering all the bloody far end places we could have ended up in the Europa Conference League, this is a dream. Uh, time's currently nine o'clock at night, so it's Wednesday at the time of filming this. I'm actually about to leave my house soon because I'm going to Stanford No Hope, crash at Tom's for a couple of hours, and then his brother's going to drive us to St Pancras about one or two in the morning. So I've been at work today, been up since this morning, I've come home, I've got I've packed, got ready, had a shower, etc., all the essentials before you travel. I'm going to have no sleep. I'm going to be grumpy. Hopefully I'll have a kit by the time we get to the hotel. Uh, train, we get the Eurostar, hence why we're going to St Pancras. We leave at 6.16, that's what's on the train departs, and we're due in Brussels around quarter past nine. Nice and early, kick-off tomorrow's at quarter to seven local time, obviously uh, their time, uh, hour behind in the UK. So yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time to sort ourselves out, but yeah, I'm leaving soon to head to Tom's. And so are you lot, if you're watching. Come on, you irons. <sighs> 20 to 3. 20 to 3. I've had about an hour's sleep. I've dozed off. Because Tom was playing FIFA. Oh, mate. Journey to Brussels finally begins. Um, James is going to take us to St Pancras. Just waiting for him to get himself ready. And then off we go at the air, not the airport, to London. I am fucking shattered. I should not have slept for that hour. Because I feel worse. Anyway, come with us. So it's about quarter four. We're outside St Pancras. Just got here. Tom's probably has dropped us off. It's fucking freezing. We're fucking tired. And Marsh has just called me saying he's running late. This better be fucking worth it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh I choked on my face, but it's going on YouTube. You silly prick. <laughs> even in Brussels it's fucking freezing here it's about nine in the morning I've had like two hours sleep I'm so tired can't check in the hotel till four <sighs> yeah but anyway we're here sort of bad gaff need to get some breakfast man I'm starving tired hungry not a good combination Let's have some fun now. Come on, you eyes. Just had some dinner, lunch, either. Feel a lot better now. Perky up a bit. We're just in the centre now. Meet a few people. Train takes us to the ground about five. So, yeah, just gonna chill here for a bit now. <laughs> 
I was walking in Brussels down the street. There's plenty cozy places to eat. I was walking in Brussels down the street. And oh, the people there, they are so sweet. At the Atomium, I arrived. After a 15 minutes metro ride, I climbed an iron crystal magnified over 160 billion times. When well, I got I back, you won't now. believe what I've used. I've got to jump on a train and uh, head over to one stop and walk to the stadium. Kickoff's approaching now, the team will be out shortly. Looking forward to it now. Kickoff's approaching, match ready. Let's get the three points. Lineups are in. It's a bit of a weak one. No Rice, no Sushek, no Paqueta. It's back five. Johnson's back. Sufau's in. Ogbonna, Dawson, uh, and Emerson as wing backs. Uh, as back five. And Johnson. And Zinian down to midfield. It's a weird one, but not a nice run through. Bowen, Antonio, Ben Rama. But yeah, the midfield concerns me tonight. But anyway. Let's hope it's enough. About going to the stadium now. Just got here. Looks alright. Let's get three points.
a few chances. We could be winning, they could be winning, but it's been two poor teams again. Getting run around in the midfield. Can't play with two in the midfield. You get overrun. This is ain't good enough. Looks alright going forward, but it's the final fucking finish as it always is. But I should have scored. Play so from my open goal. I'm blowing down all the way. But shut up. And um, find ourselves nil nil at the break. I'll take a draw now. Can't lose this game. Take a draw. Beat him next week. It's basically job done. We need him better. Need changes. the game uh, I didn't manage to get any more footage because uh, we went out for dinner and uh, done post match review and then like just went to bed because I, I was fucking exhausted uh, yesterday was a long long day only had like a brief doze at Tom's and then a couple of hours kip on the uh, train down uh, so I've had a good night's sleep tonight so I feel much more better much more refreshed but yeah um Carried on from the vlog. Uh, obviously, finished under let Neil West down one. It was a deserved win in the end. We made it tough for ourselves. Uh, I didn't think the lineup was uh, very good. That team struggled big time, um, especially in the first half. Did manage to create a couple of chances, but just poor in front of goal. I think that's the difference when you got Antonio playing, then you got Skamaka who can come on and. Obviously, win us the game. I mean, no disrespect to Antonio, but I mean, I think it's clear to see at the minute there's a golfing class between the, the strikers. I mean, Antonio did the dog work, held the ball up well, you know, caused some problems, but there's the, the being end of it is, is putting it in the back of the net. And Skamaka is more than capable, as we saw. And uh, But, you know, Bowen, there, there's positivity. Bowen was very good, back to his best, it looked like. It was his, probably his best game for us. This season, obviously, he got his goal on a Saturday, first of the season against Wolves. So that's obviously built a bit of confidence. Um, I thought Flynn Downs was our best player last night. He was, it was, it was tough because the the fact we played the the, the five at the back meant we only had two in midfield, and we did struggle, but uh, getting overrun in midfield a lot. But he was he was exceptional. I thought I thought he he won the ball back. He he he, he tackled. I, I never felt. Like whenever he had the ball, he was going to lose it. He reminds me a bit of Rice a bit, the way he, he collects the ball and you know his passing, and he looks so calm and so composed, like he's naturally built for it. And hopefully, we can get him more game time because I think he's a talent. That that kid, he did obviously. I just watched his interview 
uh, after the game and you know he he knows it's going to be tough he said himself there's competition and you know step up from the championship to the Premier League these days is a big step despite only being like one league apart but his time will come hopefully you know he's he's made a good account of himself in these two European games obviously he was excellent against Bucharest and we now need him to hopefully start some Premier League games if 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 Moyes lets him but yeah, it's been a it's been a, a good trip. I was uh, just I was very tired yesterday, but I perked up a bit. A good trip with some good people. Um, the game was it's good to see us winning Europe. I mean, I'm sort of getting used to it a bit now, but um, no, it, it was relief we got there in the end. Skamaka, obviously, uh, Dave uh, Moisey made the subs. Paquetta and Skamaka were on, and I thought straight away we looked so much more potent attack um, obviously Paquetta with his first assist for us uh, Jerry is out on him but you know obviously he's, he's he's got an assist now so he's got some in to show uh, Skamaka with a, the perfect finish straight away as soon as that ball falls from him you know what's going to happen and uh, yeah I just think our full backs need to be better man I think that's that's our weak link in, in, in the full backs I thought Soufair was, was poor Emerson was poor uh, defence was good Johnson looked a bit shaky, but then again, he's not a centre back, and it's his first game for a few uh, games. Uh, Dawson of one are immense, and Ariola has obviously kept us uh, preserved our result with uh, that save near the end, just like Dudley Silker ball. I mean, hopefully we see that in the Premier League more because I think he's the better keeper in my opinion. But yeah, a good trip, a good result. We obviously go home at uh, we're in the Euro start at eight o'clock, nine o'clock tonight. So uh, we've got all day in Brussels. We're going to do a bit of sightseeing. I'm going to. Get a bit of some souvenirs. Nicky's asked me to buy him some chocolates, some Belgian chocolate. So if he if if he's lucky, I might. Um, so yeah, that's it then. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks so much for watching. Your support's very much appreciated. And I'll see you all next in Bucharest, where hopefully someone's going to sort me a disguise. Thanks for watching. Come on, you irons.